Oh, shit. Hi, I'm Heinbach. Good to have you back. Before I start this video, I've got a new EP out. It's called Impulse Generator and comes out on miscellaneous records in vinyl and digital. It features music that I made with a wall of test equipment right behind me. For me, it's a departure to the ambient releases I did in the past few years because this is much more heavy, bass-driven, intense music. And I really enjoy that. It's a facet of my work that I've basically not been able to live out in my releases. So I hope you enjoy this EP as much as I enjoy making it. This video also deals with test equipment, but in a different form. I created sonic sculptures from test equipment. This all came about when Marco and Wolf of PNDT Art Gallery asked me if I want to use this space for residency for three months in winter. And I said yes, because this would give me the space to try out something new. Honestly, I didn't have much of an idea what I wanted to do when I got in there. I just knew I had more test equipment already than I could fit into my studio. I'm glad I got the size fit in. This appeared to be the perfect opportunity to put that to good use. I also asked my friend Darren Wiener of Patchpoint if he wants to put up his World Gang Tape Tippy that he made with Jeremiah Green of Modest Mouse in that space. After filling up the van with test equipment, we filled it up a little more with his tape machines and then we went to the gallery. So we have arrived at the gallery and we are now starting to set up all the stuff. And this is basically what I have. It doesn't look as much here in the space, I feel. So I probably have to get creative how I set this up because the idea is to build like one big sculpture out of this. A piece of medical equipment I get sent in by a viewer. Thank you very much for that. This is the thing. That's not working, sadly. This is the rather fantastic tape sampler. The noise power generator, a lovely noise generator. The family of the saddest drum machine, the error detector. And its sister, the pattern generator. Let's hope they work together well. Here's just a little crone and height filter. Telegraph generator is crazy but I need to adapt the power cable. There's a pulse generator. I got really early on for almost nothing. There's medical equipment. <sighs> Some small brilliant Kiev filters hiding behind here. A pulse generator. Wave tag function and pulse generators. A brilliant Kiev printer. Here we've got more brilliant Kiev working and non-working. This one I take out live with me. And then another Brutal Kiev filter, a mixer from the Stasi hiding behind there, some Tektronics TM500 stuff, HP, a nuclear instrumentation modular that you might have seen in one of my videos, and more and more stuff. I really had no idea when I arrived at this space how I would assemble all these random pieces into something that would look compelling. My first idea was to make a big wall but quickly that disappeared and I started stacking them and they became these figurines that resembled totems. And each of them, I assembled them in a rush, like in two hours, it was all done, except for some fine tuning later. And they became entities, each one meaning its own thing. And I invented a backstory for each of the totems that would fit with the way they looked and the way they would sound. I came up with the overall name Landfill Totems because all of this stuff is repurposed. It would have been thrown away. There is no scientific use for this anymore or no telecommunications use for it anymore. So yeah, it would have gone the way of all electronic trash sooner or later. I've powered up a few of the units and I set up the mixer and one lonely speaker over here and now Let's see if we get the first sound. We've got the pattern generator and the error detector together and they make beautiful noises or interesting noises, which are even better than beautiful noises. So, drone machine, 
pattern generator. So cool. The Tektronics pulse generator and it's running into the Honeywell nuclear instrumentation module and it adds rhythms to the bass note that you're hearing. And they appear rhythmically but randomly. I really love that. So now I've added the second voice with this pulse generator and it does this crackly <laughs> sound. And that's due to it being modulated in the megahertz range, which does sound really interesting, like some sort of alien communication. So this is the result after day two. Are you happy with the success so far? I am, I am. Very happy with the success so far. Get inside the So this is the third day of setting up, and today this total is on. And I need lots of banana cables for that. And it consists of just a simple sign generator from Philips. You can also do square waves. This unknown thing, I got the WaveTech pulse generator here. This is the Schwebungssumme, put its frequency in here and then you can tune the internal frequency and then you know what the internal frequency is and you can match it up. So that's how you did frequency analysis back in the day. Here we've got the SS1 and this is a micro sampler which is meant for recording short waveforms. It only samples 19.5 milliseconds. And I had this modded by Marek Mach, who does also other mods. Here we've got the Grass Stimulator, which is a medical tool. And it's a fantastic clock generator because it will put out two different clock signals that are related, one fast and one slow. And it also has... You can connect this to people, same as this thing up here. But I'm probably not going to do that because I don't know if this is the secure version or not. And here we've got classic Brillant Cares uh, bandpass filter and this is just the beat frequency oscillator, a sign generator that I often love to play live because it sounds massive. I've started to set up some effects. The Moga Foga Drive, the Specular Tempus for space on the aux, the Ultra Tremolo from Behringer, which adds rhythm to this patch. And this simple square is modulated by the marshmallow, which is pretty awesome. Now I gotta find out how to clock this from the test equipment. So I think I'm at about 75% with the readiness of everything. I need to figure out this one because I keep forgetting the power cable, so I need to bring that next time. This one has been absolute magic. It makes all the, ra all the difference with the rhythms. It's all coming along but I'm super tired now and the challenge is going to be to get those final things done and then rehearse a piece. So it's the last day before the performance and I got in here really late because I had to get some stuff. Just a thing to put the mixer on but the other is this beautiful thing. The Coma Electronic ER301 Rhythm Workstation. Now this is the demo unit which I got from Common Ground. What this is supposed to do is help me with all the syncing issues that I had. I want to sync the pedals, I want to sync some more of the test equipment to each other and this seems like the tool that can do that because it has all these ways in which you can set tempi and give different subdivisions out of that. So I hope to have everything more connected using this rhythm workstation. Oh, Slight problem. Every time I turn everything on, the fuse flips. So I'll have to figure out part by part what's the reason. I'm turning everything off and then turning it on one by one. So it's the mixer and the pedals. But why would they be doing that? It's the power thingy here. The power thing is busted. I need another one. 
seems to work. I've gotten a bit scared about electronics after being shocked. And uh, I want to be careful. So this is for the trash. I want to see if I can record something cool on the Grundig Schallspeicher here. My idea right now is to use this like a second oscillator. Basically taking the complex cord that comes from this one into this one into here. I'm cleaning it with this lovely little tape. I got two different pitch notes and they sound awesome through this Pell Specular Tempest. I realized more and more that I'm gonna play with the effects and the mixer a lot more than I had thought previously. This is gonna be my main instrument because I'm gonna play this like a dub mix. And dub is my secret love. I finally brought the cable to turn on this beautiful thing. It's something medical in French. It's number two. Screen is switching. Then it beeps, I should be able to play it. Yeah, look at me, getting shocked again, with tiny, tiny walls. Yes. Oh. It looks like an awesome pattern generator, but I tried everything and it doesn't work. With flash, this will actually, yeah, make these rhythms, but not when I plug it into the mixer. So I figured out a way to sync the machines and it is indeed the Coma Electronic that provides the solution because I'm actually using the tap tempo on here which is more interesting because then I can define the speed of the arpeggios and I like tap tempo sometimes because it can be more lively. So I'm back at the gallery and I still have got a lot of stuff to do. I need to rehearse, then I need to tidy everything up, make sure it's all well secured and then set up the cameras and the lights and all that stuff. Well, busy day.
will be one more performance of the landfill totems on the 28th of November. And after that, I'm not sure what's going to happen. Either someone says, I want this performance here and here and here, and I'll keep these things and perform with them. Or somebody buys them as full pieces or the whole set. Or I'll have to part them out on the finissage, which will happen on the 7th of December. And there we're doing a project where I need your input because I want to do destruction loops three. And this time the topic is going to be regret. I want you to send me your regrets as an audio file and I'm going to put them onto tape together with Dr. Wiener and we are going to use his tape tippy and my machines to create a rather massive sonic destruction sculpture of tape loops. We'll keep them anonymous if you wish so. One note, I can't promise that I can take all the regrets sent in or that I'll be using them in their entirety. So that's it for this video. You can get the audio of the entire performance uncut on my Patreon. And the people that support me on Patreon are really the reason why I'm able to take the time to do something like that. Because I didn't get paid anything to do this. It's all on my own time. And only through the support of you, I'm able to do this. So thank you very much for this. Have a listen to my new EP and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.